The movie industry, right, has suffered a great loss. Oh, it's so I, sad to hear Sean Connery passed on. Daddy. I know that's the sports, and I know you shouldn't be speaking about a movie star, but he, he was a great movie star. He was a bodybuilder, too. He started out as, a, I, I know all about him. I read his life story. I read the book on him, and um, he never wrote a book, but they did a thing on him. And I wrote, I read a book, Shelley One and Shelley Two was both Shelley Winters. Yeah, I, I do. I read all books like that. And she, she's talked about Sean Connery. He, he, sort of his girlfriend, like in between, in between marriages, he was his girlfriend. And, she, and the story was, I thought, just to tell you what kind of a guy is Sean Connery. How many movies was he in, Tim? Uh, I don't know, quite a few. I, you know, nine, I think, or something. He was in. Oh, it was Sean. more than nine. He was in a lot of movies. No, no, yeah, but I mean the sh uh, James Bond. Oh. I think it was about nine. Anyhow, seven or nine. So anyhow, the story goes when he was nobody and he, had no, he had, hadn't any money. Him and his brother were living in a house. And she, she, was in, she met him somehow. She thought he, every, every woman fell in love with him because he was a big, tall, good-looking guy. And, and, and when, when he spoke, he spoke in a Scotch burr. Uh, he, was quite a, he was quite a Scotsman, eh? He had on his arm uh, Scotland forever. So anyhow, he was going to lose his house. Him and his brother was going to lose his house. And, the, and his, uh, Shelley Winter's agent said she was doing a movie over there. She said, uh, well, I, what was that? What was that per Tim? diem. Per diem, yeah. And she had it left over. It was pounds or something. She said, well, give him $500. $500. And he said, I can't give him that. He won't take it. He said, okay, then why don't you do His brother's writing a book. Say it's an advance and save his house because she was going back with the she was going back to the United States. So he so that's what happened. And about twelve years later, she was at a party and she really admired a, a, a fur coat a girl was wearing there. And two days later, the fur coat arrived. He said thanks from Sean Connery. It was from Sean, and he that's the kind of guy he was. He wouldn't take money. And um, as movies, I, I just love it when he said Bond. James Bond. <laughs> well, he was, he started my favorite movie of all time, The Man Who Would Be King. Now, that oh, is a classic yeah. movie. If anyone wants to watch a, a very deep, who, who would the author, Rudyard Kipling? Roger classic, Kipling wrote it, yeah. and William Houston uh, I, I was the, uh, he did Casablanca and all those movies. And he was, it was his first movie, I think, he was going to do. And a lot of people didn't want to do it. I think way, way back, they were going to do um, uh, uh, Spencer Tracy and he, and uh, Humphrey Bogart, and uh, you know they got too old to do it. So they and they said, "Are you kidding?" I think they I think they were going to get P uh, Peter. I don't know Paul Newman. I think and they what are you crazy? You got to get Sean Connery and Michael Caine, and it is a great movie, "Man Who Would Be King" by Rudyard Kipling. And uh, anyhow, that, uh, Sean Connery, he got an Academy Award for The Untouchables, and uh, I always liked him. And uh, he was uh, he was a man. He man. was the Bond. There's no he way was they, the Bond. They, 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 uh, everybody pales in yeah. comparison to, to him. Okay, that's but, enough. 